What's up, YouTube? This is Ken's How To's and Reviews. Uh, so, I just did a video and posted a video of how to clean your Nintendo 64 if you do not have a game bit. This video is going to show you how to clean one if you do have a game bit. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jumper pack out or an expansion pack if you have one. Here. I'm going to take all my covers off, put them to the side, then I'm going to take my game bit. I'm just going to start undoing these screws. These don't take very long. They're not very long screws. I believe there's a little magnet in here. I got this tool off of Amazon. Um, I, as I explained in my last video, Nintendo put these game screws or game bits into the system incorporated them into the system because the last nintendo nes was being bootlegged um, by people taking the system apart and just m mimicking or recreating the internals and selling them as bootleg systems so nintendo got pretty smart and said well we'll just make a <clears throat> We'll make a system that no one has a bit to and that'll solve our problem which I believe it did so the most important thing with taking these apart is keep track of all your screws and where they go all your parts this thing has a lot of parts internally now I have seen people really take these apart and do a number on it and I have seen people just do the basics. So what I'm gonna do is the basics. So once you get your screws out, this comes right off. So this one is not too bad. You can see it was in a high humidity, high moisture area. There's some rust right there. Um, but um, I have seen people actually be really OCD about this and take this plate off. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I do is I just get a brush, a really fine paintbrush, and you can see, I'll show you. That's pretty bad. I mean, it's dusty, but I'm not going to get too anal about it and, and take this entire thing apart, clean everything in a bathtub. I'm just going to clean this thing, you know, I'm just going to dust this off. And what you can do is, while you're doing this dusting, you can have a, a vacuum cleaner on at the same time. And just suck up all this dust while you're doing this. If you don't want to breathe in all this crud. Good God, there's one ton of dust in there. <clears throat> you can see where these ports, um, where things can get in, it's really dusty in there. So I'm just going to do the main components in here. Just kind of get all that stuff out of there. So if you have any places, let's turn this thing. Let's also look at the top. You can do the top if you want to. Oh, that's interesting. I've never, oh, you can see this is broken. I've never seen a black one like this. They're usually gray. Dust this off. Turn it over. Anything that came out. All right, I think I think I got it. Um, and then if you want to do um, any other kind of cleaning, or you can take a piece of sandpaper and stick it in um, some of these tinier ports like this to scratch some of these um, pins and plates. Just make sure that when you're scratching these pins or plates that you also go back, take your card with some alcohol, and clean where you scratched because you don't want to leave any residue in there. 
you want to clean that out with alcohol. Like I said in my last video, these systems are mainly pins and plates. These are your pins in here that connect with a game plate. And they're copper or brass, typically a mix. Um, so if you're having trouble getting your game to come on the TV or you have a black or blue screen, it's because these plates are corroded and these pins are corroded. So when you put your game in there, it's not connecting to the pins and plates correctly. So um, that's why we're using the sandpaper. So um, if you have a piece of very fine sandpaper, just stick it on in there. Scratch a new connection. And this is gonna get some new copper and new brass exposed. And then you're gonna take your card and alcohol you're just gonna go in and clean out what you um, what you scratched off, and this will almost be like new. You can go around different parts of your system. This is just alcohol, kind of cleaning this off, wiping it down. I'm using alcohol because this stuff dries really quickly. Um, that's gonna get off any kind of adhesives or gunk. I don't believe I'm gonna be able to get that off, but it's just kind of a, it's kind of rusty a little bit. But we got it looking pretty good. The only thing that really matters is that we are able to play this guy kind of get it back to functional use so all right so we didn't really take any components in here away or apart one other thing I want to tell you too is these pins in here that read your controller they are also made of brass or copper so if these aren't working for you if you you know your controllers not working and you know it's for sure nothing wrong with the controller um, you can go in here and scratch these copper wires as well. So if you have a thin piece of um, sandpaper, you can maybe roll it in a little roll, get it in there and kind of scratch in there and expose some brass or copper in there and then see if that also works for you if your controller's not being picked up. So we got mostly uh, most of this cleaned up. And we'll put it back together. So it's pretty easy to put back together. You just put it back the way you found it. Of course I said that and this thing is not going back on the way. Why are you not going back on there? Oh, there we go. I had to do the power in the right way. And then you just turn it over and put your screws back on, put your feet. And of course there are more um, thorough cleanings that you can do, but this one's just the basics. You know, if you don't want to keep track of screws and all that kind of stuff, um, with taking this entire system apart, I've seen people take every single screw out, every single plate, dunk it in a, you know, cleaning solution and all that kind of jazz, but Really, I think for the most part, you're just wanting to get this bad boy um, back um, functioning correctly. So um, with that said, make sure that you let any sort of liquid like alcohol that you've used to clean the internal parts dry before you use it. And then uh, you're ready to go. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you like the uh, content, uh, feel free to subscribe and um, we'll see you next time.